Today is very tough. Tomorrow is more tougher. The day of tomorrow is beautiful, but most people die tomorrow evening. You have to work very hard. Every tough days, every tough situations, problems you meet, that is the training of yourself. You know, I'm not good at learning schools. I failed for three times for entering university. I have a lot of a terrible experience, made a lot of mistakes when I was young and child. I think if you succeed, every mistake becomes legendary. If you fail, that's just garbage. You know what I'm saying? I think everybody has great stories. Everybody had a lot of mistakes. Everybody have a lot of problems. But very few people listen to you. One day when you become successful, people listen to you and say, Wow, you are great. I'm not that great. I was born in a normal family. And I'm not good at schooling. Of course, I tried to study hard, but as a boy, you know, my school was not that good at that time. So I failed looking for jobs, looking for joining university, joining good schools. But I never give up. And I think there's one thing I learned is that um, why why you should have a chance to be successful. Everybody should get used to be get used to fail, but not get used to be accepted by other people. Why other people should help you? You should earn the right to be helped. So the thing I learned is that don't give up. My opportunity has not come yet. When everybody complain, that is the opportunity. I always thought when I was young, when I was graduate in, in the high school or university, I thought Bill Gates took off my job. You know, Bill Gates did all the successful things. Larry Ellison from Oracle, they they took all the wonderful opportunities. IBM benefit. We people have no opportunity. And I think I aim too high. I should aim to support and help the people around me. Do tiny things. I never thought I could be today. After 18 years, Alibaba become today's size. Not because I'm smart. I don't think I'm a smart person. But I, have, I work with a lot of smart people. And most of smart people they always want to do successful things, quick, easy things. And I think it's not easy to be successful quickly. Every time, everything we do, we prepare for 10 years. I know I'm not smart. If we want to be successful, we have to win 10 years later. If we want to be successful, we have to work with smart people. If we want to be successful, we should make a lot of mistakes and never give up. A lot of people, they make mistakes, they have problems, they give up. We never give up. We learn from mistakes. And I think when we feel the message, the experience that I want to give you, the advice I want to give you, you will judge whether this person will be successful or not by when he fail. He thinks it's his fault or the other fault. If he thinks my fail because of the others, this guy has no chance. Those people who fail always think, hmm, it is my fault. I did not do it properly. I should change here or change it there. These guys have opportunities. So I learn a lot from those people who fail. I learn a lot from those people who made mistakes. I learned a lot from my mistakes. So this is what I, when I, this is my life attitude. When I fail, I say, see, I will fail. 
when I succeed, say, well, I never know, I could be successful. This makes me very positive and optimistic. And because of so many mistakes, too much failure, that makes me never complain, because I get used to that. We are making mistakes every day, even to today. We make stupid decisions almost every day. Nobody knows. We thought it's smart, but finally proves stupid. But we learn, we do again. We learn, we do again. That's the way, that's the life attitude. If you want to be successful, learn from the other people's mistakes. Don't learn from the successful stories. Learn from the mistakes, the other people. No matter how smart you are, you will encounter these mistakes. You learn from mistakes not because you will be able to avoid mistakes. You will able to, when these mistakes come, this suffer comes, you know how to deal with it. How to face it. In my life, it's not how much we achieved. It's how much we go through the tough days and mistakes. And this is what, you, if you start to think now, it would be good. So, think about be positive. Don't worry about the future. Prepare for the future. Make your own future. I didn't have a rich father. Not from, uh, you know, well-educated. I said I tried it three times for university. All failed. For the last time, I, I went to the teacher's college, which was considered the third or fourth class of my city. But I think that is the best university I've ever had. Better than Harvard and Wharton. I applied for Harvard for 10 times. All failed, they don't even want to see me, you know, terrible. And I, I think that is a normal life, right? And I, I believe that uh, it was so difficult at that time. I was so frustrated because I taught in the university. My pay was $10 a month. It was not easy. But I believe that something, something is waiting for me there. And I have to work hard to prove myself. So that was the tough experience. And I never thought I was smart. Nobody believed that I could be successful because everybody said, well, this guy think differently, think crazily, you know, they think about something that never work. In, so what I agree with. As I said, I believe it because I saw the computer in 1994 when I went to the USA. I think this thing could be big. Nothing is easy. Nothing is free. If you want to be successful, you have to pay the price. Alibaba 18 years to today's size. Yeah, we are lucky. But we work much harder than most of the people. We never sleep well and sound in the evening. I traveled last year 867 hours a year in the flip plane. In the plane. I'm working hard. My team working very hard. 18 years we work like a normal company. 70 years. Day and night, nothing is free, nothing is easy. Easy means you have to think different, you have to do different. For example, early days in my company, when some ideas come to my desk, Jack, this is a great idea, and I look at everybody. Everybody say it is a good idea, I normally throw it into the rubbish. Because everybody say it is good. Then all the other people think, of, if everybody say this is going to be very tough, I'm very interested in that tough question. And I pick up and say, how can we do it in a different way? This is to be unique, to be different. Don't complain. Let the other people complain. Those people who complain, those people who still. And do not always say, well, I don't have. 
Think about how you can make things different. Use your own brain to think. Make the move. Make the action. To everybody, to any person, tomorrow is new. So, think about, be positive. And believe one thing, this is also another last advice I want to give you. You have to work very hard, right? Either work for the others or work for yourself. And I choose the way, work my, for myself. But working for myself, that means working for the society. If you really want to work for yourself, think about the others. The day DT time, making sure you help others because only when the other, ha other people are successful, when the other people are happy, you will be successful, you will be happy.